Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, the four-way goat build is back and is better than it ever has been before. This build is tall, has contacts, can shoot from anywhere, solid defense. There's two versions of this build. So if y'all want the super defensive version with a lower three ball, there's that one. And then there's my version with a higher three ball and still solid defense, you feel me? On top of this being one of the most drippy builds in the game hands down this build can last you literally all year like you can literally just solo this build on current gen all year long also of course this is my official current gen build just tell me just like last year man a game plan i'm finna show y'all bro i barely have this build upgraded y'all can see i have no badges whatsoever yet on this build bro well i have one defense but that don't count anyway as y'all can tell bro i barely upgraded the build i'm only an 84 overall and i'm going crazy already the gameplay off in sc bro this is what i'm rocking day one if y'all want that jump shot the six whatever that case may be it's gonna be at the end of the video after the deal just feel me but look man let's get right into this four-way go demigod now listen bro i told y'all this build was a demigod bro this is me going crazy day one now a lot of people having time struggling with shooting and things like that bro i'm just fine i ain't gonna lie compared to next gen i'm moving differently day one not even day one this is week one on 2k24 current gen i ain't gonna lie bro i'm out here getting blocks i'm stuffing people i'm shooting over people i'm getting crazy looks i'm not gonna lie current gen gameplay is mad easy in my opinion after about a month or two go by bro y'all gonna be going crazy but y'all see it look look at how i'm moving I don't really see too many people moving like this on next gen yet because the dribbling system is a little bit five and i ain't gonna say too much but y'all see it bro i'm out here green and left and right no problem he's lucky i didn't even have my contact dunks on he's lucky i didn't have my dunks and my dunk animations or none of that on yet he's lucky look at how i'm doing bro he doesn't even know what to do he's literally losing his patience he's he's gonna quit the game no, look, look, look at this. Next dude, fake pricks. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna cap to y'all. I did quit on this guy because he started doing that post scoring weirdo stuff. But yeah, look at how I'm cooking his stuff before I quit this game, though. Look at what I'm doing to him. He doesn't even know, he doesn't even know how to guard it. You feel me? Now look at this. I'm dunking over him. He's like 6'11". This doesn't even make sense. The way I'm moving, I'm looking like a mini guard. I'm out here shooting green lights. It don't matter. You feel me? I don't even know what else to say, bro. Now look, I ain't gonna lie. Bow tie man. He ain't even know what to do. I'm out here hitting the 2K23 snatch back. It's just, it's just not looking good. I'm stealing a ball from him. He doesn't know what to do. This build might be one of the best builds in the game, hands down. I'm telling y'all, bro, this build will last you all year long. Like this is probably the best build in the game, 100 per cent. I don't, I don't even want to show y'all no more gameplay because the way I just be disrespecting people and because it's not max, bro, it's looking crazy. But look, man, let's just cut to the build. You feel me? <laughs> Alright, y'all. There is two versions of this build, so I'm gonna show y'all the defensive-oriented build next. But I'm gonna show y'all mine, the main one I'm using, the one y'all seen in the gameplay. You feel me? You feel me? This is mine right here. As for the position, you can go point guard, shooting guard, small forward, whatever your personal preference is. But me, I like to be point guard. You feel me? I like to be tall. I like to be a fire point guard. Jersey number, right hand, left hand, don't matter. You feel me? College don't matter either. Now, as for the height on this build, but you want to go six foot seven. Now, listen, I was gonna make a six foot six build on current gen but in my opinion i didn't really think i needed the 92 ball handle to go crazy in the dribble moves and if y'all seen the gameplay i'm already moving and i don't even have all the craziest sigs yet so yeah go six foot seven for your height for your weight bro we want to go exactly 213 pounds reason why we're going up to exactly 213 pounds is because it's right before we lose the 80 acceleration now as for the wingspan on this build bro we have to be able to shoot solidly in my opinion i like having high behind three ball so i went with the 611 you know what i'm saying wingspan so i can have an 85 three ball on this build you can go lower but it's really not going to be that helpful so yeah go 611 body shape built we want to look as big as possible now for this build bro we're going to start off with the driver dunk you feel me bro look for current gen listen please listen because i know it's going to be people that's going to comment this in the comment section on current gen you do not need vertical for contact dunks i repeat you do not need vertical for contact dunks on 
Kermigen, you feel me? You can go 87 if you don't want both contact on packages, or you can go 89. Me personally, I just want 89. It just makes the most sense. We get both contact on packages. We can go crazy. We can go stupid. You feel me? You feel me? There's no reason why you shouldn't be. You also do, in fact, get limitless takeoff on gold, posterizer on silver, slithery finisher or slithery on silver as well all three of these badges are the main ones y'all want to be grinding towards you feel me these are the main core badges y'all want to have these are the only badges y'all really actually need so when y'all are grinding this build out and when i drop my how to get extra badge video because i know it's only 13 right now chill i i, I can see that obviously when i drop the badge video i'm gonna show y'all how to get way more badges you feel me it's coming very very soon after i'm done with the builds and stuff like that now over for the three ball obviously we have to be able to shoot on this build so me personally in my opinion i'm going 85 three ball now the reason why i'm going 85 three ball and not anything lower is because i want the silver agent three i like to pull up off the dribble shoot crazy threes and everything and things of that nature now if you if you was to drop your wingspan i recommend y'all only drop your wingspan to like 610 69 i think so you can get 87 three ball for the limitless range on silver but i had to sacrifice it i know i had to sacrifice the silver limitless range because i i just had i just needed my build to do everything now actually i'm mirroring shot bro just put your mirroring shot to exactly 73 now the reason why we're going to 73 is obviously so we can get 20 shooting badges and we can also get the mini magician on gold just in case we want to throw it on we don't we want to go crazy on mid-range maybe we do maybe we won't i'll be playing mid-range sometimes and i heard that mike wang said that mid-range is actually od this year he's probably lying but it is what it is as for your free throw bro you don't really need this too too high go ahead and put it around 70 74 ish me personally i just put it on 74 why because i had extra points left you feel me so you might as well just throw it on 74. now as for the ball handle the main part of the build why i like it so much we are six foot seven and we get 89 ball handle now look if y'all want all of the dribble moves in a game you have to have 92 if you want the tim hardaway i'm pretty sure a combo move or something you have to have a 90 ball handle but i don't care about none of that I personally just went 89 ball handle, obviously, so I can get the gold clamp breaker badge. This is one of the best badges in the game, hands down. I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all want to go with the gold, I'm going to say 89 ball handle for the gold clamp breaker badge. And we also get quick first step on gold, which is big on a build like this. You feel me? Six foot seven with gold clamp, I'm like gold quick first step. Silver handles for days, not too good, but it is what it is, you feel me? Now, as for the speed ball on this build, you really only need about a 75 speed ball, you feel me? But me personally, I just wanted extra badges and things of that nature, so I went with the 80 speed ball. Now, if you know, you know. Gabby Williams is the best dribble style in the game right now, besides Kyrie Irving, obviously, but we don't have no 92, 90, whatever speed ball. We're not making that type of build, you feel me? We can't get that. So, if y'all if y'all going to use a six for seven six for six whatever the case may be really any build all you need is a 40 speed with ball and you're good you're going to be solid bro you're going to be cooking stuff it really just doesn't even matter you feel me so this speed with ball bro if you're not using magic johnson kevin durant or gabby williams i don't know what you're doing or if you're short kyrie irving whatever the case may be as for the passing everyone knows it's just it's, it's just mandatory 75 passing accuracy is the best passing in the game you don't need to go no higher if you do go higher on the passing bro i i recommend y'all put y'all passing around 80 ish eight well really just 80 i don't think y'all should go any higher on the pass you don't really get anything for going extremely high besides bailout on gold which bro you can literally just have this on bronze it doesn't really matter this is not next gen now as for y'all defense bro i told y'all this is the this is the four-way goal build back and better than ever before you feel me so look for the perimeter defense y'all want to put your perimeter defense all the way up to exactly 87 you feel me now the reason why we're going to 87 is so we can get clamps on silver challenger on silver so we're not getting bully thrown around nothing like that now if y'all want challenger on gold just go ahead and put it one one plus above but me in my opinion it kind of ruins the build because i have to keep everything balanced so i can't get the gold challenger but if y'all want to hey y'all can do whatever y'all want to it's y'all build tweak it however y'all want to tweak it now as for the still but still is fire every single year now overall next gen i don't really see still being that broken but over here on current gen it's still broken just like you know what i'm saying 2k23 current gen over here on 2k24 it's still broken you feel me now look put y'all still up to all the way up to exactly 78 now the reason why we're going to 78 obviously as y'all could tell we do in fact get glove badge and interceptor badge 
on bronze and silver you feel me there's no reason why y'all shouldn't be going 78 you feel me it's just perfect it's just mandatory you feel me in case y'all want to ground out all other you know what i'm saying core badge core badges challenges for these four badges these are going to be your bread and butter all four of them everything else really doesn't matter here besides probably anchor but we don't get this badge obviously unless we only get this badge on bronze so yeah as for your block bro we're gonna put our block all the way up to exactly 70 now look y'all can go up to like 78 i'm a 79 if y'all want the gold you know what i'm saying chase stars you can go up to 79 but me and my opinion bro i'm not going that high i need other stuff so we're gonna put our block all the way up to exactly 70 you feel me silver chase the artist is pretty good for me y'all can tweak it however y'all want to it's up to y'all as for our interior defense bro we don't want to be too small in the paint either bro we want to be able to you know what i'm saying put our body up there you know what i'm saying do some contest you feel me you feel me as for your rebound bro since we do in fact get rebound chaser on bronze off rip you don't have to upgrade your rebound at all but me personally i just wanted to put it at 50 just because i had extra points as for y'all speed, leave it at exactly 75. There's no reason of changing that. Put your acceleration all the way up to exactly 80, you feel me? As for y'all strength, bro, look, you can't get it all, so put y'all strength to exactly 50. No higher, no less, you feel me? Other build will have higher strength, but for this one, put your strength to exactly 50, bro. It's not that, it's not that bad, I'm telling you. After a while, you're going to get used to it. It's not that bad. As for your vertical, bro, put it to exactly 70. Just one up. It doesn't really matter. I just like to even out some... I just like to even out things. You feel me? So I put my vertical to exactly 70. You feel me? And as for the stamina, we can't be slow. We can't be hogging our head. Obviously, we only have a silver handles for days. So we have to have our stamina all the way up to exactly 90. You feel me? And that is the four-way goat build. Obviously, I'm going to show y'all the... You know what I'm saying? The next version of this build, which is more defensive oriented with higher strength. And then I'm going to come back over to this one and show you all the badges, of course, of course, with the build name. Now, if y'all did not like the first build, I get it. I get it. Some things is just not the way it seems. You feel me? This is the second version of the build, bro, with better defense and things of that nature. What I want to do is go exactly six foot seven, 206 pounds, seven, four wingspan. You have, you have longer arms, so you're playing better defense already body shape built you want to look as big as possible and as y'all can see it's basically the same build but a couple things is tweaked let me run down it real quick same drive and dunk same layup same well not same close shot obviously we had to get one extra finishing badge that's really the only difference that's the only difference i really made put the close shot up you feel me now over for the three ball now i know a lot of y'all like dying how you go from 85 three ball to 76 now i noticed the big difference the only thing that's different is a little less greens a little less greens i'm not gonna lie but it's still a goaded three ball. You get all of the good badges you need. Agent three, dead eye, limitless range. You have all of the stuff you need. Catch and shoot, amped, everything. You know what I'm saying? Mini magician, everything is there. This is a solid three ball. You don't need no higher, no less. I'm telling y'all, bro, 76 three ball is the way to go this year. The lowest three ball, in my opinion. 73 mid range, obviously, same thing. Mini magician, you feel me? Same with the dribble moves, 89 ball handle, 80 spew ball, 75 passing accuracy. You feel me? We want to get, we want to go crazy out there. We want to get sturdy. As for the perimeter defense, I know a lot of y'all want to be more defensive oriented. So obviously I had to go with the 88 perimeter defense. Now look, if y'all don't care about block, obviously go ahead and take this down and put y'all still up so y'all can get the glove badge. You have to put your you know what I'm saying? Still all the way up to exactly 95. So you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of block. In my opinion, that's just not happening. I don't know what 2K smoking on, putting gold glove. That's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. You feel me? But silver is only 88. So if you want to, you can sacrifice some of your block for the silver still. You feel me? The reason why we went with 87 block, of course, is so we can get silver anchor on this bat, on this build. Now, listen, y'all. Silver anchor compared to bronze anchor, there's a big difference you can play way better defense with a silver anchor if y'all want to use this go ahead and use it and as for interior defense 69 a little bit lower than the other build rebound same thing 60 rebound basically barely any better we only up this so we can get 21 defensive badges as for the physical 75 80 70 strength which is way more strength than the other one we only have 50 on the other one and the vertical still the same stamina still the same as for the takeovers i use finishing moves on this one and extreme clamps this build gets shades of lonzo ball tyrese holly burton and malcolm brogdon with the build name two-way slasher you feel me now on the actual build the main build i want to show you the badges on and everything like that this is what I use. I use spotter precision, extreme clamps. Now look, you can choose whatever takeover you want. We have all this, 
shot creator intakes, the sharp shoe intakes, bamboo ball. Y'all can double up if y'all don't want extreme plants. You can double up or you can double up on the limitless range so you can, you know what I'm saying, boost the effects and everything like that. That's up completely up to y'all. Y'all do whatever y'all want to. Right now, right now, y'all should see on the screen what's the best takeovers to use on current gen, best to worst. So y'all take whatever y'all want from that. You feel me? You feel me? Edit it to however y'all like it. But look, the build name we do in fact get Shades of Lonzo Ball, once again, Tyrese, Holly Burton, and Drew Holiday. As for the finishing badges and all of the rest of them, this is what I'll put on off the rip, you feel me? Obviously, we don't have all of the, you know what I'm saying, badges yet. So obviously, y'all gonna have to do the limitless takeoff, core badge challenges, and things of that nature. But for now, y'all might as well just throw on Giant Slayer, Acrobat, and Pro Touch. All of the rest of these badges are not gonna matter on a build like this. Over for the shooting badges, but I recommend y'all throwing Imp on Silver, Green Machine on Gold 100%, and Clutch Shooter on Bronze. Now, as for the two core badges, these are the ones I recommend y'all go for, obviously. Agent 3 and Limitless Range. These are the two core badges I think y'all should get off the rip, you feel me? Until, obviously, y'all do the core badge challenge so you can get these badges for free and things of that nature. Obviously, then y'all wanna go for things like Deadeye, maybe volume shooter and that's just about it as for the playmaking badges same thing over here me personally i would i would off the rip throw on hall of fame ankle breaker that's just me y'all can do whatever y'all want also quick first step handles for days on silver and everything else is completely up to y'all the only thing that i probably would go for is these two badges right here off the rip clamp breaker and unpluckable obviously unpluckable is the way more important one so in, in my opinion i think y'all should put on unpluckable first and then do the core badge challenges and everything like that so i can get these badges for free the only two badges that you're really going to need is clamp breaker killer combos you feel me and unpluckable everything else obviously ankle breaker y'all could probably drop this down to one whatever y'all want to do it's up to y'all as for the defensive badges rebound chaser all of these don't really matter you're not you know what i'm saying doing all of that that's not really going to matter silver chase the artist bronze anchor and for the last badge we might just throw on workhorse probably you know what i'm saying pogo stick as well you feel me why not they're there you can put on pick dodger or menace whatever y'all want to completely up to y'all again it's y'all build y'all do whatever y'all want to do with it and as for the core badges obviously we want to get clamps or challenger in my opinion first i will go for the you know what i'm saying probably the challenger i don't really need clamps that much because i do have extreme clamps takeover or if y'all want to y'all can go glove interceptor again do all the, you know what I'm saying, core badge challenges, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, these are going to be fire. But that's it for the badges on this build, bro. I'm going to show you how the jump shot and the dribble moves, and I'm out this game. Now, listen, y'all. As for the dribble moves and the jump shots, you feel me? This is what I was using in the gameplay. I don't have to use this, but I know a lot of people are going to comment as what dribble moves I was using, jump shot, things of that nature. As I said in the video, Gabby Williams, dribble style, Tracy McGrady, Kimba, you know what I'm saying, Ja. I don't really like Ja too much. I might switch it. De'Aaron Fox, I don't like De'Aaron Fox either. I might switch that. I don't know what to put on. I might just throw on Kobe because his is a little bit quick. We don't have too many drip moves on current gen, you feel me? Russ, Andrew Wiggins, I might switch this too. I don't really like his um drawn, but it is what it is. We, you know what I'm saying? we gotta wait till the seasons to get more drip moves, you feel me, you feel me? Basic spin back, it still sometimes activates, so I'll just keep that on, you feel me? Kevin Durant, Luca. <clears throat> As for all my scoring moves, y'all can see them. The dunks, I don't really have too much on right now. Again, I didn't even barely upgrade the build. I might have to change this dribble pull up because I do not like Tyler Hero at all for no, for some reason no more. As for the jump shot, y'all see it. Bay Rob, you feel me? Here y'all go. This is the jump shot. Rudy Gay, Sadiq Bay, and Oscar Robinson. I tried to remake my jump shot from last year. It's basically still the same. It's just a little bit worse because we can't get double Oscar Robinson. We can't get LaMelo Ball plus Oscar Robinson without it being a little bit bad. But this is the jump shot right here, but this jump shot is cash for me right now. I gotta get a little bit more used to the timing because I switch from next gen and current gen all the time, but yeah. But listen, man, this is the NBA 2K24 four-way GOAT built on current gen, bro, you feel me? If y'all did enjoy, man, go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, coach. But look, man, I'm out this joint. Peace.